Now at noon, a small town in Dimmit County is now home to the latest detention center for unaccompanied migrant children. A protest happening now as many are demanding basic needs for children. Eyewitness News reporter Addie Guajardo joins us live from Carrizo Springs with more. Addie. Well, right now, Aaron, there are dozens of migrant advocates out here demanding that these children be freed and that these detention centers be shut down. I want you to just take a look around. They are chanting right now. Please read your sign to me right here. Immigrants make America great. And we have another sign over here. Can you read Teaching what this children says? children is a crime. Not a business model. So you clearly are seeing some of the what people have to say about this detention center out here. The detention center just opened up yesterday. 200 migrant children were brought in. It has a capacity of about 1,300 migrant children that can be held there. Now Lourdes right now joins me live. Now Lourdes, you are one of that has been very outspoken about this situation. Tell me a little bit about what you hope to accomplish today. Our accomplishment that the pressure is on, that we want this camp shut down and we want that wall around this cage knocked down also. And we're here, we want justice, we want humanity for all these children that are being caged like the animals. We cannot stand for this. As Americans, we need to do better. And we're going to send out that message across this nation, which is we are all doing right now. I know that it's across this nation. We're not happy with what is happening, and that needs to change immediately, not not in the next month or two months. No, it's got to be done exactly right now. Well, thank you so much, Lourdes. Now, Mark Weber with Health and Human Services is also out here today. What can you tell these people to make them feel any better about these detention centers that seem to be growing across Texas? So, the thing I've been really clear is that we're aligned with what is being asked for here. We're working 24-7 to release the children that are here. We're looking for sponsors so that we can get them into safe homes. And while we're doing that, we're providing food, clothing, shelter. These children are being cared for by trained professional mental health clinicians, social service workers, uh, child welfare professionals. What do you have to say about those pictures that have been released? There's pictures of, of detention centers that are overcrowded, uh, children saying that they're not getting fed enough. What do we have to say to some of so, those situations? So again, what I'm looking forward to is welcoming you in particular and other members of the community into the Carrizo Springs facility so you can take a look around and, and see how children are being treated with dignity and respect. They're playing soccer, they're getting education, any health care needs. And, and so we look forward to welcome people into the shelter to take a look and see how it's being operated. Is anything changing in the other shelters where we have seen that overcrowding, where we have heard that they're not getting the, the necessities, the basic needs that they deserve? So one, of the, one of the things I'm trying to make very clear is the difference between a Department of Health and Human Services shelter and a Department of Homeland Security shelter. The Department of Homeland Security refers children to the Department of Health and Human Services. And we have shelters where, again, children are provided food, clothing, shelter, medical care, beds, professional clinical care if they have any kind of health care needs. And we're working 24-7 to find their sponsor here in the United States. Within 24 hours, we're connecting these children with their parent or their legal guardian so that the parent or legal guardian can know where they are, that parent legal passion? guardian can also What's be involved in decisions passion? about the What's care of the child and who that child is ultimately What's released to. What's Most of these children are released to parents or aunts and uncles, and the Department of Health and Human Services is facilitating that. That's what's happening here. We're finding parents, reuniting children with them while they go through their immigration proceedings. Well, thank you so much. We, we do know there has been a little bit of tension out here between some of the advocates and some of the uh, sheriff's office uh, department that has been driving through. So I want to take a walk right across the street so you guys can really get a sense of what we're looking at out here, how many advocates are out here. So right across the street, this is where all the advocates are at. Um, the sheriff's office has been sending out deputies driving down this road and this is what's been causing some of the tension out here and you can hear the chanting all right we're going to send it back to you guys over in san antonio we'll continue this coverage here in carrizo springs reporting live at guardo kens 5 eyewitness news